a term can have a numerical part and a variable part. They don't always, but they can have a number and a variable. So in this case, the 4 is very clearly the numerical part, and the x is the variable part. Here, the 385 is the numerical part, and the a, the a b squared c cubed, that's the variable part. The numerical part of a term is called the coefficient, C-O-E-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-T, the coefficient, that's the numerical part of a term. If a term doesn't have a numerical parts, for example, just if we had uh, AB squared, that's a term, there's no number stuck on the front. It's not 2AB squared or 3AB squared. It's understood in this case that the coefficient is 1. AB squared is the same thing as 1 times AB squared. So even though it's not written there, we understand that the numerical part or the coefficient is 1. And here we're given some expressions, some big expressions, and we're told to list the coefficients of all the terms in order. So the coefficient, remember, is just the numerical part. So for this first term, the coefficient right there is 4. So I'll write 4. We're just going to list them all. The next coefficient is a 3. Now be careful here. This 2, remember that this negative sign is part of this term. So this term is negative 2x squared y. The coefficient there is negative 2. Now for this next term, xy squared, there's no number so we understand this xy squared to be 1 times xy squared, so the coefficient there is 1. And then here the coefficient is obviously 6. And this next one, negative xz squared, that negative sign is part of the term, and there's no number, so we understand it to be a 1, but it's a negative 1, so the coefficient there is a negative 1. And then on the last term, the coefficient is clearly an 8. Okay, on the bottom, list the, the coefficients in order. Well, the first one is 38. The next one is negative 15. The next one is a positive 210. Then we have a a 1 coefficient, there's no number, so we understand it to be a 1, but don't forget that it's a negative. So we have a negative 1, and then a 2, and then another negative 1 coefficient.